The rapper just made some more real estate moves, dropping $5.8 million to acquire a humble property next door to his mega mansion. It would appear he bought the lot for the land alone and not the single story mid-century structure situated here with the intention of combining it with his current property. Travis's main house is an extravagant, ultra-modern mansion that he paid over $23 million for just last year and today we'll check it out as well as this potential compound he has in the works. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Travis Scott is a rapper, singer, and record producer who's experienced plenty of success in the music industry, most of which came in 2018 and onwards. In the last few years, Travis's hit singles have topped the charts and made him a household name. While the rapper famously refers to the Hidden Hills community in his song Butterfly Effect, it seems Travis would rather dwell in LA's Brentwood area. Not only is his colossal main house situated on a hill here with panoramic views of the city, his new property investment is right next door in the same neighborhood. With an estimated net worth of about $40 million, this may only be the beginning for Travis's real estate portfolio. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out where Travis Scott calls home. And he just added on to his real estate with yet another Brentwood property. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. It was just reported that Travis is adding on to his real estate portfolio with another purchase in the posh West Side LA neighborhood of Brentwood, where his main mansion is located. In June 2020, the rapper paid over $23 million for his main mega mansion, and he just bought the house next door for $5.8 million, but it's a far humbler affair. Brentwood is a quiet and upscale neighborhood in Los Angeles where Travis's neighbors include the likes of other celebrities, including LeBron James and Dr. Dre, and it seems he likes it here, he wouldn't be expanding his compound. While Travis purchased the law for the land value and location, it seems there's still a house on the property, which is a simple, single-story, mid-century house built back in 1963. It was never on the market, so details are slim, but the petite abode spans less than a quarter acre and was owned for decades by the late Edwin and Sherry Silver. This couple was widely known for being collectors of fine African and tribal art, with their world-class collection being auctioned off in 2017. After the couple passed away, their Brentwood residence was damaged during the Getty Fire, and while the home's outer shell remains intact, the current condition inside is unknown. However, we do know the modernist home includes four beds and four baths across 3,400 square feet of space. Since Travis would have snagged this property for the land itself, now his newly enlarged compound will span about 1.3 continuous acres at the end of a secluded street. His hilltop property also overlooks the Los Angeles basin. Now let's check out his main house here. So you've probably heard that Travis decided to treat himself to a mammoth sized mansion in the Brentwood area of LA just last year, which was his first upscale purchase in the neighborhood. Just so they can remember that name, remember my name, just remember the city you used to remember the fun. Travis paid the whopping $23.5 million price tag for this home in straight cash. That's how you know the astronomical rapper is rich. That number is said to be a bargain considering the mansion was first offered at 42 mil before undergoing two large price chops. Travis's colossal hilltop house was designed and built on spec by father and daughter team DeLorean and Associates just last year and could double as the Getty Center Museum. The home spans a massive 16,700 square feet of living space with seven beds and 11 baths over three full floors of ultra-modern house. Although the mansion looks like it's just clinging to the edge of a cliff, it still boasts an acre of property and a generous outdoor space. Unlike most contemporary mansions, Travis's spot has some pretty unique architecture. The home is wrapped in a smooth sheet metal that was meant to mimic the lines of a modern yacht, according to the listing. Either way, his mansion looks and feels more like a resort. Walking in the structure's blast front door, you'll see a floor-to-ceiling walnut sculpture designed by a master Japanese carpenter. Across from it, there's a 12-foot green wall, which acts as a natural air purifier. Not only is the entryway spacious, offering high ceilings, it then connects to the completely open main level of Travis's new home. 
Here, there's an open plan living space made up of a single great room, which is huge, and has a full bar, fireplace, and multiple seating and dining areas. If you don't want to hang out in the open area of the home, there's also a more cozy family room to relax in. On one side of the sprawling common space, there's an attached custom kitchen made of luxury black marble and top of the line designer appliances. There's seating for more casual meals here and a larger table to dine at just steps away. The room here has walls of glass that open fully to the patio area, giving his mansion a total indoor-outdoor vibe. Of course, with the panoramic views of LA that the property offers, you have to take advantage, which is why there are also balconies and terraces on all levels. The lower level of Travis's home is devoted to recreation and entertainment. The mansion has everything like a full-size home gym, a sauna, and a 15-seat movie theater. Not to mention there's an expansive wet bar area, perfect for hosting guests, and a temperature-controlled wine cellar that holds 650 bottles. Not to mention, tucked right under the outdoor swimming pool, you'll find the games room, fitted with a designer ping pong table. Upstairs, the penthouse floor of Travis's home includes two junior master suites, and I'm sure by now, one of them is occupied by Stormy. Of course, there are more full walls of floor to ceiling glass on this level, and the impressive master suite has dual closets, a spa style marble bath, and a balcony with views of the entire city. In fact, Travis's master bedroom is so large, it has its own sitting and living area, and what looks like a full hallway. Outside the mansion, the luxury amenities keep on coming with a large entertaining area and patio, including full outdoor kitchen and alfresco dining decks. Then there's the hard to miss 75 foot infinity pool that looks as if it's hanging off the cliff, which has its own underwater sound system, and there's a poolside cabana too. For more relaxing activities, there's a jacuzzi, a tranquil 400 square foot zen garden, and a stunning water wall designed by Mario Romano. As I mentioned, Travis's mega estate sits at the end of a remote street and is completely invisible from the road. Although the home is hard to hide, it's set below street level and the neighboring homes with the driveway sloping steeply down the mansion's roof. Likely a difference, although the home is hard to hide, it's set below street level and the neighboring homes with the driveway sloping steeply down the mansion's roof. Likely a different design than you usually see. The driveway itself has parking for a dozen or more cars and from there, further down, there's an additional 20 car garage, also dubbed an auto gallery. This is no doubt a handy feature for Travis, who's an avid luxury car collector. So now we've taken a look at Travis Scott's growing Brentwood compound, so I think that brings us to the end of this house tour. We checked out what we know about the newest property acquisition, which is much more humble than his modern mansion, as well as that main mansion too. He also continues to maintain a shared property in the Beverly Hills post office neighborhood he invested in with Kylie Jenner. After checking out Travis's mansion, which he keeps on adding to, what did you guys think? What was your fave feature in the ultra modern home? Also, what do you think he has in the works for the compound in the future? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Travis's properties down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram to chat, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!